What's up dudes, JJ here, hope you're all doing well. Uh, I've just crossed over from Namibia into Botswana. We actually crossed yesterday, and after a few big days driving through the Kalahari Desert, we've arrived in Maun, which is the gateway to the Okavango Delta here in Botswana. So for those that don't know the Okavango Delta, it is the biggest inland delta in the world, and apparently it is an amazing sight to behold. We're heading out into the delta on some canoes, uh, some traditional canoes, uh, tomorrow afternoon, and we're actually gonna spend some time at their camp in the wilderness amongst all the wildlife, which will be fantastic. But when you're down on that level, you can't really appreciate how big the delta is. So I've caught a bit of a lucky break, and I'm gonna be going on a flight over the delta this afternoon. We actually leave in about an hour's time. Uh, I wasn't going to do this flight initially. I'm being quite budget conscious and it was a bit too expensive, a bit too of an expensive activity uh, for me to really think about normally. But mum uh, back in Australia just sold my fridge for the exact same amount that this um, flight is worth. So if that's not a sign to go do it, I don't know what it is. So pretty excited. We're going to be heading up in a really small plane, viewing it from above, going to take the cameras, of course. You can see a lot of wildlife potentially, elephants, hippos, uh, as well as the beautiful formations that the Delta forms. So super pumped. Uh, and yeah, let's get into it. Yo. That was unreal, such an incredible experience. So much wildlife, an awesome ecosystem to experience from the air. So good. And now we're back in the International Airport. Nice quick flight. Wait for Welly to pick us up and head back to camp. <laughs> Okay, so again, that was absolutely amazing, but tomorrow is gonna be another experience. We're gonna head into the Delta by canoe, camp there overnight in the wilderness, and that's gonna be awesome as well. So, see you then. So, good morning. Uh, our rides have arrived here at camp. We're loading up all the gear to take it out to the Makoros and head into the Okavango. So about an hour and a half uh, on the four wheel drives, we've arrived at the port where we're going to be heading further into the delta on these Makoros. So they used to be made out of wood, but now they make them out of fiberglass, which is a lot more sustainable, so they don't have to keep chopping down the trees to make them. So we're going to be two people on each one, uh, plus our luggage. Uh, hopefully we don't capsize or get flipped over by a hippo or anything like that. And it should be about two hours to where we're going to camp tonight. So 
So we've already seen some hippos out there. It's so relaxed. Hi, Sarah. Hey. <laughs> So there's a big hippo in front of us. Right, so we're out here in Amakoro, Welly and I, having a nice relaxing cruise to the Okavango Delta with our main man, Kenny. Say hi, Kenny. Hi. <laughs> How long have you been polling for? Um, I have been polling since 2007. Wow. Up until now. So that's like 12 years. Definitely. That's awesome. Yeah, we've seen quite a few hippo. Yeah. You can normally hear them before you see them. Yeah. Yeah, they usually notice that we are here before they, before you come, uh, you come and break the comfort zone. Yeah. So, you know, it's one of the very, very aggressive animal. Yeah. But, you know, they move very aggressive if you break the comfort zone. Yeah. But if you respect them, then uh, they're friendly. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, really important to respect them. This is so surreal. I feel bad talking. I feel like I'm breaking the peace by talking to the camera, but this is unreal. Bonk. Alright, so we made it to camp. Kenny delivered us safe and sound. Sweet, so tent is set up. Uh, I'm gonna turn the camera off now because I'm running out of battery and turn it on when we do something interesting again. See you then. Alright, so uh, nothing particularly exciting has happened over the last couple of hours. We've just been bumming around the camp. Uh, playing some card games, went for a bit of a swim before in a part of the delta that has no hippos. Um, and yeah, now we're going to go for a bit of a walk. Should be out walking until sunset. We may or may not see any animals. It is, uh, we're going to be quite noisy, 20 of us trudging through the bush, but we'll see what happens. Fingers crossed we might see something. Around our camp though, there is regularly sightings of elephant, hippo, buffalo, even some lions. So you never know what might happen. <laughs> So uh, we just got back from our walk. I couldn't really talk during the walk because we had to be fairly quiet in regards to not spooking any animals and trying to approach closely to animals. But we ticked off a fair few. We saw giraffes, zebra, antelope species. We saw elephant and my first buffalo as well. So that was sick. Um, but yeah, I guess it was more of like a wilderness experience than getting really close to the wildlife. Uh, it's been a good day. Uh, next stop in a few days time is Chobe National Park, which is the elephant capital of Botswana. So hopefully some more wildlife photography opportunities there. So tomorrow morning we're going to get up early, get back to our camp before heading back on the Lando and heading through to Chobe. So exciting couple of days. Uh, if you've enjoyed the video, definitely give it a like and subscribe. And yeah, I'll see you later in the week.